सो हियर आई एम गाइज विद द फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ माई सॉलिड वर्क स्ट्रीन मॉडलिंग टूटोरियल्स एज डिसाइडेड वी विल बिगेन विद द डीजल लोकोमोटिव द ई एम डी वेरियंट्स ऑफ इंडियन रेलवेज फर्स्टली वी विल स्टार्ट विद दिस लोकोमोटिव कॉल द डब्ल्यू डी जी फोर डेमोस्ट्रेटिंग इट्स ईच एंड एवरी पार्ट देन वी विल कलर अप इट्स मल्टीपल वेरियंट्स लाइक दिस वन इज डब्ल्यू डी जी फोर द पैसेंजर ट्रेन लोकोमोटिव The model will be same, just the colors will be different. Then we will color up quickly the two special locomotives called the Pratik and the GM EMD. So to begin with WDG four, we will need the following parts: main body. body of the bogey wheel which will be assembled to make a bogey a buffer some kind of grills some kind of exhaust panels handrail supports the exhaust fan the cabin body window grills some windows doors siren horns to make the cabin sub assembly so to begin prefer top plane and make this sketch on it you can prefer your own dimensions as well so next we have to extrude both it up to say 90 i have used here 90 Now we will cut a section to make slot for cabin sub assembly. Make this kind of sketch and cut it till the end. For some reasons, I have removed it in two steps. Firstly cutting at the depth of 30 and then up to end. Here I will show you how to use convert entities and up to the next constraint for making a sketch same as the boundary edges of surface we use convert entities like i have to make a sketch exactly as like the removed surface so to make it work we have to just select the surface on the edges and hit convert entities button it's that simple like when i click on this surface and click convert entities button the border will be converted into sketch line but presently we want sketch over this smaller surface so select the surface and hit convert entities the result we have our rectangular sketch ready with just two clicks and now we will cut it till the end we will use up to next constraint here of which the significance i will explain you with upcoming features So moving ahead we have to make this cut on the long hood side This is how it would look after it is finished can either give your same dimensions or can consider your own also we will apply extrude cut over here remember to select the outer part of sketch as counter to be cut when we use blind cut it will ask us for the dimension of depth so in place of that we will use the up to next option which cuts the counter up to the end of the solid so now we will move ahead to make the upper body of long hood this is how it would look after completion
on the upper surface i have made this sketch which i would be extruding by a proportionally considered dimension this is an already finished model just i have suppressed all the feature for demonstrating you next is to make the long hood exhaust body of the locomotive as seen in this photo for a friends i have imported a pic as sketch picture To do this, just click on tool step, go down to sketch tools and click sketch picture. It's unavailable now since I have activated the sketch picture modifications already. You have to be in sketch mode first to get the sketch picture. Remember that. It can be used for proportionally tracing the feature boundaries just like I have done here. then i have given some dimensions so that sketch would be symmetric and then we should extrude it to certain dimension and the feature is ready now we need to match the remaining upper part with the newly made feature assign some differences so that we can differentiate it We also have to cut this part off which was from our first upper extrude. Again I have used convert entities command here and extrude cut up to a surface so that it gets removed up to given surface. Blind will ask me for dimensions. So it looks one piece now. To avoid confusions, I have removed all the colors from it now. We are gonna make this part now. Just a simple sketch. so that it is not touching the boundaries from anywhere from any side again i have extruded it by considering some length now i will cut this section I have made this sketch. The all black lines indicate that it is fully defined. No more dimension needed to be given. Here I have used up to vertex constraint for cutting. For this we need to specify edge or a point.
it's time for the side cuts now again a simple sketch and cut it by giving up to a surface constraint blind cut can consume calculation time and it also needs to be re-edited after we done do some modification so just simply use up to surface let's go for the short hood or the cabin side exhaust now observe the sketch carefully if you are following the same since we need extra part we will use extrude bows here Now I will cut this part off. Here too we can use convert entities option. Just two clicks. Up to next also could have been used here. This is the next part we will be making. Every time I don't need to explain what I did. Just observe the sketch plane, sketch and extrude and depth and follow the steps. You also have an option to pause the video if you need or if it seems fast we need to extrude it more than the base limit Next is to cut the unwanted part as seen in the real locomotive. Ready to go. Adding some more details. Here, extrusion length will be very less. I have again used sketch picture here. Now I will add some more details on the long hood side. Just observe the steps I do carefully. We'll add these details too. I'm using mirror entities command here so to save the sketching time.
since there are many closed boundaries we need to mention the counters that we need to extrude adding fillets to these upper surfaces sketch this and cut for a very short depth We are gonna replicate the hinges now. I have used linear sketch pattern here to save the time. And then mirror, just a few more details. This is how we use linear sketch pattern. We need to specify the direction as well as the entities to pattern and then those entities would be pattern. I will use the mirror now. few more fillets speed it up Now we need all these entities on the other side as well. So we will use feature mirror, select the suitable mirror plane and then select the entities. Some entities are needed to be selected from this side tree. Because for this one, if you select anywhere, it will detect the fillet and not the below feature. Remember that. Make sure all entities are selected as per they are made in chronological order. Remember again, feature like this needs to be selected from the tree, like I mentioned just now. So, thanks for watching the video. We will continue the next parts in next episode as well. Stay tuned and do subscribe.